Hello, my name is Fraser Simons. This is my channel, Springboard Thought. Today I'm going to review Booth by Karen Joy Fowler, a long-listed Booker Prize 2022 uh, novel. And it is a, I would put it as something like upmarket. It's between commercial fiction and literary is where I got the impression it led. But uh, I also consume this on audio. The narrator was January Lavoie, and I also recommend uh, consuming it that way because the prose, especially if you are up against Booker finalists, I think is not quite to par with some of the other uh, books listed, to be honest. The character work and prose is sort of what embody a literary work for me. And this feels more like it was listed maybe because it was subversive. Uh, and innovative within the space of genre fiction, historical fiction. Because this story tells the story of John Wilkes Booth through the lens of his family predominantly without giving him his own perspective. It's always other people. And it seems like, from what I can tell of the acknowledgments at the end anyway, uh, Fowler has done a lot of work to parse together a lot of different sources to make a copacetic whole. She's trying to show the radicalization of an individual paralleling, I think, the radicalization of certain elements in the States right now, and showing that it's sort of a historical problem, something that's always been there, something that people should always have worried about, and is not going away, clearly. So, it's a little bit of a different mission statement, I think, than most historical fiction, and therefore a little bit subversive, because she's attempting to not center Wilkes Booth, even as it is sort of his family story. And he's more or less the most notable person there. So it begins like womb to tomb, even before he is born. It begins with his father and the mother's relationship. They're falling in love, running off, and having kids. Uh, they immigrate, I believe, if I remember correctly. And then they uh, raise a brood, and he is a actor, predominantly, who's supposedly quite good. And then he starts turning to drink and it gets much more granular at that point with the events that have been occurring from his sort of like stardom to his fall to the kids actually growing up, three of whom become semi-predominant voices or protagonists in the fiction. It is very dramatic and I think that because the um, actor profession or vocation is so predominant in the Booth family, the actual voice crafted for the novel as well as the mm, the con the context in which she organizes or arranges all of the events and how she portrays them with the voice is very theatrical it feels like a play like this is very <laughs> greek tragedy very i don't know something something that's like a production something that you're consuming on a stage you're not probably going to be surprised by a bunch of the beats because we've seen them so often in other historical fiction contexts or elsewhere, but it is undeniable that this family has had a time. <laughs> There's a lot of wild things that occur. There's a little bit of surprises, maybe, but predominantly it's about how the family deals with John and how John became the way that he was up to a certain point because Fowler is limited by historical documents to a point where I think the granularity of his radicalization could have done a lot more for this book than what it ended up doing basically. It kind of has to eschew or elide certain aspects that are very important to how he becomes the way that he is. And I think if you want to set a radicalization, you need to sh kind of show it. And she's not doing the work because she doesn't have the work. So there's a lot of extrapolation that's taking place. Uh, I mean, one of the kids don't ev doesn't even have like a, a diary or, or anything like that. She only has snippets in different contexts of other people's writings about that person. And so that person is necessarily more fictional than, than others. 
but it is all still of course fiction because she is guiding things with a thumb on the scales towards the dramatic and towards showing Booth as a more critical figure I guess you could say and I don't think it's fully successful at that but I think again it is listed as a subversive commercial fiction genre fiction thing it's doing something differently so don't expect a super literary book and you won't be let down and also if you just look around booktube at the people who have been consuming historical fiction they absolutely love this book and I think that could set you up to like the book as well for the people that are really into the genre not me certainly I do not read a lot of historical fiction but I could appreciate the attempt at what it was doing and so it did exceed my expectations I gave it four out of five stars because three stars as it met my expectations I do think it is an interesting concept it's a little bit flawed it didn't quite work for me as I said but I can see why it fits into the long list and what it is doing thematically and I applaud it for that at least so hopefully that aligns your expectations a little bit for the book maybe you'll go in and maybe it'll be a five-star book for you now if you know the things that I just <laughs> mentioned going into it when I was reading it I was consuming all of the titles that were eligible to be long listed and so it was it was against a lot of other books that I think were even better than some of the long list titles that we have now like Mercury Pictures Presents which wasn't even long listed um, and Lear Wife with immaculate incredible prose work which I read just a little bit after this book I think and it outshines probably every single book that has been long listed on the prose front so it just depends hopefully you can go in with an open mind and if you go into it and you end up enjoying it I hope you'll comment let me know what you think am I off base am I on point who knows uh, and otherwise I will see you for the next review bye